and welcome. My name's Sam and this is the Little Greenhouse Creates. Thank you for joining me this morning for a case it card. Now this card is found on page 33 of the online catalogue and it is the sweet ice cream and this is what it looks like. Now I have to say as soon as I saw this um, set in the catalogue I knew it was something I would be purchasing. So this is the first version, which is very similar to the one in the catalogue. And then I have a second version, which I have I blinged up a bit. It doesn't sound quite right, but I put Wink of Stella on the three ice creams so that they twinkle. Now I'm hoping if I hold the card slightly to an angle, there we go. you might be able to see it. Okay, so that is the two cards. And as I say, the stamp set we are going to be using is the sweet ice cream stamp set with the matching pump. And it basically cuts out the fat part of the ice cream. And then you've got this section here which cuts out the cream. Okay, so the supplies for this morning are as follows. I have a piece of Coastal Cabana, which measures eight inches by five and three quarters. And I've scored it at the four inch mark and then burnished with my burn paper. I then have a piece of designer series paper in the new in colours, and this is pale papaya. Um, and this measures three and a half by five and a quarter and will layer over the top of my box. Before we do that, I've got one other step to do that. And we have a little, and I think this is one inch by two and a half inches, sentiment, um, piece of white cardstock for sentiment. Morning, Sylvia. Thank you for joining me this morning. I was going to, we're just going to recreate this card, which you can find on page 33 of our annual catalog. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take some sprinkles that come in the stamp set and using the um, Calypso Coral, I'm going to stamp it around the edge <coughs> of the paper to give it a border. And I'm going to make sure some of it is on the page and some of it is off the page. And I'm just going to work my way around like this to give it a border so that when the paper sits on the card base, it actually has this little area around it. Work our way around. Now on this one I'm using the sprinkles. On the other one, the mint one which I will reshow you later, I use the almost like chocolate chip marks. So you've got a variety there should you wish to um almost there. Lovely. And I think I can probably fit just a tiny bit up there. There we go. That's brilliant. So I can pop the Calypso Coral aside for the second. And I'm just going to wipe this down because I'm actually going to reuse it again for when we create the ice cream. Rub that down with my chamois. So it's clean. And then the next thing to do is to bring back in the Design Series paper. And rather than, I mean, you can very welcome to layer it straight, but on this particular card, I've decided to tilt it slightly so that it sits like that and just gives a little bit more of a um, card. I had to think then, do apologise. <laughs> right, I'm going to use the stamp and seal to stick the final series paper onto the card base. So. And then we can put that there and then just tilt it in the position that you're happy for. Okay. Now that can sit aside while we create the ice creams. So I have some scrap papers. And I have my ice cream, ice cream, 
So I've got pale papaya, early espresso, and the calypso. Going to do those aside for a second, and I'm going to do one of each ice cream. So the first one I'm going to do is the pale papaya. Cut that onto the ink pad, and then straight down onto the cardstock. So I'm going to wipe that down so that I can then go on to the next colour. Now you will see that there is a, um, what looks like a imperfection on the stamp, but it's actually there on purpose. It's just to give you that kind of 3D effect on the ice cream. Now I've also got the Calypso Coral coming in. That one can go there. The definition comes clear on there. And then the last one, by no means least, our early espresso. Write that one down. Yeah. Early espresso, chocolate in. Onto there. I'm going to leave those to dry for a second. I will come back and add sprinkles in a moment. But before I do that, I'm going to create the cones. I'm going to use the plum cake for the cones. And I'm going to use half strength for the actual cone and full strength for the detail. So, up our cone onto the pad and then off. Okay. And then I'm going to do exactly the same off and back on there. And hopefully, if I position this right. There as well. Okay, this is where we bring in the detail of the cone. So it's stepping up full strength, and I'm just going to detail there and put there. And the last one goes there. So that's the three cones. Like that clean. Now for the pale papaya, I'm going to give it my little sprinkles in the calypso coral. Wrong pad there, I do apologize. On that and bring in the calypso coral. Now I'm not a hundred percent sure, but I think it's going to look better for me if I stamp it off first. So I'm going to stamp it on the, on the scrap and then sprinkle it over the pale papaya. So you've got, you've got the sprinkles on there. On this one, I'm actually going to add chocolate sprinkles, but of the different shape. I'm going to bring the early espresso back in. And then we've got these sprinkles. So again, onto the ink pad and I'm stamping off and then they're just going to go over the top of the ice cream like so. Right and then I can punch these out. So let's bring in our punch. I'm going to work on it. So what I should do is I should bring in this one first and then I can put my full force through there. One. Ooh, managed to close itself. I do apologise. There we go. Now, if this happens to you, this one's done. 
just decided to. Hello. I just normally tap it and it springs open, but for some reason it's not doing that for me today. So I'm just going to pop that aside. I will mend that. <laughs> Bear with me. And I will re stamp these two. So, very quickly, the pale papaya. onto my card like so and then the Ali Espresso clip there and then we can jump onto there. No problems. And then I will add the sprinkles to the pale papaya again with the calypso. Done off that time, but that seems to be working. Okay, so now using my scissors, I will do that thing I hate to do and fussy cut. But because you can see that there is a white layer around this one, we can afford to have the white layer around these as well. <coughs> So as in previous videos, move the paper around as you cut. Um, it gives you the smoother edge. My way around again. Way around. This one is fairly easy to cut. So if you don't have the punch or your punch does what mine does, and I've never had a punch do it before, so I can't see why it would not open after I've tapped it. So there's one. And then here's the next one. Around. Of course, we can do the same with the cones, which obviously will be a lot easier as they are just straight lines. Of course, it is easier to use the punch, less time consuming. There we go, so there's the third one. And then I will bring in my three um, cones. So straight down, here, down, that's one, this one. And then we can bring in two straight across. So bring in rubber. Lovely. Push that aside. Now, before I go any further with my things. I'm actually going to add my Compostella. So just where it says push, just push it gently and it will bring the blue or the colouring of the wink down here. So you can see it's a change, but it does fill up the barrel. And what I like to do when that happens is I just make sure there's not too much on my um, brush and then just use from the Um, let's just put out we've got a bit of glitter on that one we have some real sparkle on the chocolate okay. 
the chocolate this is alcohol and then our last piece is the calypsum so i suppose it's probably an ice cream language strawberry with chocolate sprinkles there we go wonderful so there are our three ice cream tops and then we've got our three cones now the three cones i'm going to glue down bringing in our card base again i will add our first one to the center of my cage and go around about and i will use my multi-purpose now i'm not going to stick the head down so what i want to do is i'm going to pop one of the heads into the middle like so so that i give myself enough room to add my other two and that there'll be room for the other heads. And then the last one here. There we have our three bases and now we can add our cone heads and what i'm going to use is my dimensionals okay and i'm going to put three on each cone i'm going to put one at the top and then one on each of the outer dollops that one just gives it a little bit of Our card. Now these can come back in. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go chocolate in the middle. Like so. That one off. There. And then I can add my other two bones. So I can add my strawberry and then my pale papaya on top. So the next thing to do once we've done that is to have our centre. And as I've already got two birthday cards, I thought I would do a thank you card. There. and there is a thank you that comes with the stamp set i'm going to bring in my little sentiment and i think i will have the sentiment in the early expresso bring in my thank you And then again, I will add the dimension to the back of these. There should be one on each end rather than across. And then I'm just going to work out where I would like my sentiment to go. I'm thinking probably. So the only other thing to do now is to add any of the bling you wish to do. I'm going to use the sequin as I did on the other two cards. Okay, so I have got three colours. So I think I'm going to pop those on the top. There. And then I'm going to add two more ones on there. 
Okay, that one. Then I'm going to bring in the Calypso one. I'm going to add onto the top there. And I'm going to use the big ones again, and I'm going to put one into the middle there. And there. I think I've got one on there as well, so I'll just make it balance. Yeah, that looks better. And then I'm going to bring in the blackberry list ones. And they're going to go one on the top, and then I'm going to add this one. Here. And So oh, that is our card that we have placed today on page 33 of the English Alphabet. So that's the one I've just completed. There. Then we've got the original one. And then I've got this one. So thank you ever so much for joining me this morning. I hope you liked the cards. Please do have a go. Um, it'd be lovely to see if you do what you've created. Um, I'm back again. <laughs> Thank you, Sylvia. Yeah. I'm back again tomorrow with a pre recorded video. Um, it will be here at 10 o'clock as normal. So please do pop in if you're free to have a look. Um, and then again, there'll be a pre, pre recorded video on Friday for my funky bowl. Um, so if I don't speak to you before, I have a wonderful weekend and I will see you at some stage. Thanks for joining me today. Take care and lots of love. Bye.